You know, it does take a ton of commitment. Absolutely. You're a contracted employee. There's this normal as you would just be any other job. You have to be at a certain place at a certain time. There's certain rules. And so you are following all of those. You're t attending rehearsals. You're also representing a major brand, a major corporate brand. So there's also those rules that you have to represent them well. That being said, it's much more of a part-time position than it is the players. These are careers. These are full-time jobs. For the cheerleaders, it's much more of a side hustle. It's a fun thing. Most of the women were mothers or full-time students or maybe even had full-time jobs and this is something they would do mostly for fun. So it's definitely wasn't a full-time career for me or hardly any of the women I worked with. Did you ever get nervous dancing in public, especially in the early days? Yes and no. I don't get major stage fright. I get what I consider to be a healthy amount of just amped up a little nervousness. That amount that, as you said, forces you to play on the edge. If you were just so comfortable, you'd kind of go out there. The point where I would be, I would practice, practice, practice. I was the dancer that while everyone's kind of putting their finishing touches of hair and makeup, I'm done 15 minutes early so I can be out front practicing my routines five more times before I go on the field. And then as before I'm stepping on the field, I'm thinking, okay, what is my first move? What is my first move? What is my first move? And as soon as that music hits and you hit the first move, then you're golden. Your muscle memory takes over and you can enjoy the process. So yes, I don't have debilitating stage fright, but it just enough that yes, forces you to just be on that edge that really brings out your best work.